What's up YouTube, my name's Kenneth. Today we have an unboxing from Mefferts and there's a lot of stuff in here. It's really heavy, so let's open it up. So here is all the puzzles. You can see we got 13 puzzles. I actually stopped the video and played with them a little bit so that I could be a little more informed as I talk. But I'm really excited about these puzzles. They're really cool. You can see we have all these golden kind of eggs over on one side and we have these puzzles over here and they kind of look somewhat familiar maybe if you're familiar with my channel. And we have this really cool one in the back. But let me zoom in and uh, I'll show you guys these puzzles uh, in a more detail uh, individually. So let's start with the eggs. We got a lot of these eggs and they're really nice. They kind of look like fa Fabergé eggs. Did I say that right? Um, they're very metallic, very reflective, and you can see the reflection so easily in these eggs. They're really cool. Um, you can see me and you can see the camera as well as, the, uh, you know, you can even see the crib behind me. I share this office with my son who's actually sleeping in the other room so that I can make film in here. But anyway, you can see uh, how super ultra reflective this metallic egg is. And I have to say the eggs are super cool. Uh, they're just based off of two by twos, so they're not all that difficult to solve, but they're really difficult to kind of tell which where each piece goes. And so, uh, and also when they're in the right place, you have to make sure that they're perfectly oriented, and it's hard to know the correct orientation without kind of stickers telling you uh, where what the orientation should be. So anyway, they're kind of challenging, and we have all different types of uh, or sticker or not sticker, but we have all these different types of. Um, uh, schemes so this one here is gold and red and the red kind of goes around the gold and I think this one is probably my favorite of the group and then we have a bunch of other red ones and I'm really excited because red is my favorite color and I think these gold red ones look great so we have this one here where we have red on the bottom and gold on the top and I think this one looks really nice as well and then we have this one it's kind of a checkerboard gold and red and that one looks pretty good so red on the bottom, gold on the top, looks good. And then we have a multicolored one with red and blue, gold and green. That one looks good as well. And then the rest are uh, different colors with gold and then it kind of circles. So this green one circles, goes around it. And that one looks nice. And then we have the black one. The black one uh, looks really uh, cool. The black is a very deep black. It just takes away the color, it's pretty cool. And then we have uh, purple. Purple's probably not my favorite of the group, but uh, it still looks pretty good. And then we have blue right here. So I think red's my favorite and then maybe green and then blue, um, but they all look really nice. So that's the uh, the egg and the eggs are, are fun. I've, I've solved it a couple times um, and you know it's really easy to get messed up. I only did two moves on this puzzle and yet it looks scrambled. So you can see when pieces are misaligned, they kind of stick up like that. But uh, yeah, so they're they're really cool and really fun. So then we have these puzzles. We have this, this is called the Pyraminx Diamond, and it's based off of another puzzle called the Pyraminx Duo. And you might remember the Pyraminx Duo. Here's the Pyraminx Duo. This is a corner turning puzzle, and you can see each corner has three sides, right? And this is the Pyraminx Duo. And then these ones, which is the Pyramid's Diamond, it's the same thing. They're corner turning. The centers move with the corners, but instead of three sides to each corner, we have four sides. And so it makes the puzzle a little more challenging. And we have two different kinds here. We have this kind, uh, which has the, these really nice high quality stickers. They're kind of textured and it has four colors. So this one has two blues, two yellows right here two oranges and two greens and then I have a white version that is the exact same where is that one this one so the white these ones are kind of the same it's a four color version with the high quality stickers and then I have two with eight colors and these are the normal kind of stickers and these are um, are pretty cool I've solved it twice now and uh, they're not that challenging uh, it's definitely more of a beginner kind of twisty puzzle in fact I'd say it's easier to solve than a Rubik's Cube but even if you know a Rubik's Cube, you don't know how to solve this yet. And so even some people who can solve a Rubik's Cube might get frustrated with one of these puzzles just because they don't know how to solve it yet. 
But it is a, a pretty easy puzzle to solve in terms of twisty puzzles. But if you give it to someone who's not really good with twisty puzzles, they're going to have a difficult time. So it took me about maybe 10 minutes to solve it, uh, maybe a little less than that. Um, but it's, it's a pretty fun puzzle. Um, and I really was a fan of the Pyramix Duo. I think it's a great starter puzzle uh, for a twisty puzzle enthusiast, someone to start with. Uh, it's, it's a good beginner puzzle. And I think this is a nice step up, especially if you enjoyed this puzzle. You're going to like this puzzle too. It's a little more challenging. Uh, and it's you know it's a little bigger and it's uh, it's cool. So anyway, this is the Pyramix Diamond, and then last we have this one in the back, and this is a red Ghost Cube, and this is an ultra rare puzzle, uh, super limited run. I don't know how many they made exactly, but I do know that you can't buy one; it you can only win one. And uh, I know they're giving some away in some as prizes for uh, competitions, speed cubing competitions. And they've given some to people like me. I'm really excited that they've given it to me. I, I feel a little undeserving. Um, you know, the only other way to get one is to win a speed cubing competition. And I know I'll never do that. So I feel really lucky to have been given this. I really want to thank Uve for giving it to me. And thank you guys for watching my videos. So... Uh, and man, this is really cool. Uh, you guys all know I love red, and so to have a red ghost cube is really cool, especially with you know my channel name is Red KB. So anyway, I'm really excited about this red ghost cube. I'll probably have to make a solve video of it, uh, and I'll do that later. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, like the red ghost cube. Doesn't it look cool? Man, it looks great. So if you haven't already, definitely check out my other videos on the Ghost Cube. I'm not going to scramble this one or talk much about it. Just showing it to you guys for now. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Definitely check out Crazy Bad Cuber's video. He just came out with a unboxing very similar to this. So check that out. And that's it, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. And, of course, have a great day.